Recently, I've had quite a few questions on whether there's any good options in Excel for a drop-down calendar or a date picker. I've had a few videos on this previously, using things like add-ins. However, unfortunately, there's not really any good options in Excel itself. However, saying that, depending on what you want to use a drop-down date picker for, there might be an alternative, and that's using Google Sheets. And here I'm in Google Sheets, which you can just search for in Google. And I've just got a blank workbook open. Or we're to pick any cell in this workbook, and I'm just going to put a random date in it for now. Now, if I come to this cell and make sure that it is actually formatted as a date, you'll notice that when you double click on it, instead of going into the cell, it will come up with a drop down date picker or calendar. So I can change this date quite easily using this. Now, if you really want a date picker in your workbook, you could potentially use this. So if I were to come, back to my main page of Google Sheets and go to this little folder button here and can upload a file from my device. So if I click on here, I'm going to go to an Excel workbook, which I know has some dates in it. So I'm going to use this contact list here. It'll upload and will open automatically in my workbook. Now you can see here, I've got this date of birth column, which is already formatted in my workbook as a date. So I were to double click on here you can see that it brings up that drop down calendar again. So I can change these super easily. Now, if I wanted to then resave it as an Excel workbook, I can go to File, Download, and download it as a Microsoft Excel document. Now, of course, this isn't a perfect solution and it may not work for everyone, but for those of you who really want to use a drop down date picker, this might be something that would be helpful for you. As always, do let me know your thoughts in the comment below to like and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you in a future video.